Okay, so the um, Master of Science in European Economy and Business Law, it takes place at the Department of Economics and Finance of the University of Rome, Tor Vergata. Uh, you, as you may know, the Department of Economics and Finance uh, uh, at the University of Rome, Tor Vergata is committed to excellence in research and in teaching. And in 2018, it was awarded a recognition from the Minister of Education and Research for its high quality research. The characteristics of the department is that in general we have, especially for Master of Sciences, more class. We try to um, make a clear connection between uh, uh, theory and practice that the teaching standards are quite high. The feedback we receive from students are uh, uh, typically um, above uh, uh, average, uh, university average. The environment is international. Uh, you will see that uh, EBL, for example, has had uh, so far, um, especially in recent years, a proportion of uh, uh, non-Italian students that has reached in 40, 50 percent. And uh, the department offers a number of degree programs, both in Italian and in English, on top of uh, some career placement and orientation for students and graduates. Um, I will talk a bit more about this uh, later. So the Master of Science in European Economy and Business Law is a two year interdisciplinary program. It's uh, uh, in, for Italian, they need to know the, the sort of uh, the code. This is an LM90. It combines uh, economics with political science, management, law and statistics and is taught entirely in English. So the program is focused on economics, but as you will see, there are a number of core and optional courses in uh, management, law um, and political science. Um, selected students will be able to take advantage of a dual degree program with the SOAS University of London. So why choose EBL? Uh, as I mentioned, the, the, the teachers as well as uh, coming from the department, the people we try to um, um, attract uh, are, uh, are people with uh, excellent background in research and we believe strongly that uh, research uh, uh, helps uh, teaching according to high standards. Uh, the, the, there is, as I mentioned, a very large uh, international group. Uh, we've had the students from 22 countries, uh, from uh, uh, South America, East Asia, Africa, Middle East and Europe. And there are a number of career opportunities that seem to be working uh, quite well in helping students to find a placement. So uh, the, the board, this is the, 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 the decision making, the governance of the, of the program uh, comprises uh, five people. I'm the one at the top, I'm the coordinator. That is Barbara Nicchiarico, she's director of teaching. Berardino Cesi is director of the Erasmus program for EBL. Martina Conticelli, she helps me together with Barbara Nicchiarico in the admission process and Tommaso Proietti, who uh, is also the coordinator of a PhD program at the uh, Department of Economics here at Tor Vergata um, and help us to make sure that, uh, that we are uh, up to date with all the novelties of the PhD program. The international opportunities that are present are related to Erasmus Plus, Erasmus Mundis, Erasmus Trainship, I'm sure you know about this, but we also have a program called Venice International University that gives uh, selected students the opportunity to spend a few months and study in Venice. And the thesis abroad program that uh, allows students to develop their dissertation uh, abroad. Uh, because we are a course that uh, um, is, has, is focused on economics, but it has some inter, interdisciplinary um, characteristic, uh, we admit also students who don't have economics as their first degree. Uh, to these students in particular, but these courses are open to any of our admitted students, in the first two weeks of September, we prepare some, uh, uh, we organize some preparatory courses. 
uh, in mathematics, statistics, microeconomics, and macroeconomics. Uh, and this, uh, they, these courses are, are, um, are really designed to help students to uh, catch up. Obviously, the catching up process uh, might take longer than just two weeks, but this should help them to get on track. So what is the program structure? Uh, the first year you have on the left uh, the name of the courses that we organize and then uh, there is the CFU which is uh, the, the credits that uh, these courses uh, uh, give. So um, we have game theory and industrial organization. This is a, a course uh, um, uh, based on game theory, so rational decision making an industrial organization that studies uh, the functioning of markets and competition policy. Then we have a course on statistical learning where students learn and start learning some uh, uh, data analysis program and um, and, and run uh, some uh, statistical uh, uh, exercises in a lab. Then we have a management course. It's advanced management. Um, then a course in uh, uh, political economy and public economics. Uh, this is uh, uh, a course that studies uh, the functioning of governments and public organizations and their scope. A course in economic history. Uh, the name I think explains what it is. Then a European institutions law and markets. This is a law course focused on European institutions and markets. Then we have a, a European administrative law in the first year. So as you can see, you have uh, two law courses, one management course and the rest are economics. In the second year, uh, we have economics of European integration. This is an economic course. Um, it's, it's split into two courses, uh, by, but uh, uh, so is it for a total of 12 credits. Then we have another management course. It is uh, management of public administration and NGOs. International economics, where students again have an opportunity to use some statistical packages as data. And then uh, on top of these core courses, students can take some elective courses up to 12 credits. So this is two courses in additional. I will talk about um, options later. On top of some extra activity, uh, they give another six credits. And finally, the thesis, uh, which amounts to 24 credits. So the elective courses are plenty because we basically give the opportunity to our students to take uh, almost any courses taught in English and master level in Tor Vergata. There are some courses that we particularly recommend because they are, we think that they are really tuned to our program. And these are listed here. So they are econometrics for applied economics for the students particularly interested in data analysis, economics and territorial organization and planning for students interested in uh, planning territorial organization. Then students who, who are interested in, uh, in uh, going uh, in more depth in, uh, uh, com on, uh, com on international law may study international commercial law. And then there are uh, uh, three courses that are very, I always recommend for those students who want to work for national international institutions, governmental or non-governmental institutions, um, because these are courses on very on, uh, quite applied in terms of policy, uh, either on environmental policy or uh, uh, health policy or development uh, policy. And finally, there is a course, another course in law on European competition law and, and regulation. But as I said, we had, for example, a student this year taking a course in organizational psychology. I mean, because of the nature of this program, which has economics at the core, but at the same time gives students a possibility to take uh, two courses in law, two courses in management, and two courses in as optional which can be law courses or management courses or other things. So there is a, a, a kind of interdisciplinary, some interdisciplinarity. So the every at the end of every course, we run our own um, assessment of uh, how the uh, 
um, students perceived uh, that the course went. Uh, so this is uh, uh, done by distributing some uh, uh, questionnaires to the students uh, are left anonymous with uh, nine simple questions about uh, how would you rate the overall quality of the class? whether the lecturers help the students understand the course, whether the assignment uh, reading material helped, uh, was whether the teacher was clear, uh, punctual, respected the timetable, whether the assignments were useful, and whether the practice session, because in some courses uh, we have some practice section uh, taken by, given by uh, TAs, were useful, and uh, what, how, uh, whether the TA, the teaching assistant, was skilled and helpful in the perception of the students. And we report here uh, the average. So you can see that uh, uh, this is very, very transparent. So the top, uh, the highest uh, uh, mark uh, grade uh, uh, would be five. So we receive uh, above four in most uh, of the uh, questionnaires as uh, average. Uh, we need to work a little bit, which we're doing instead on uh, uh, the, the TA's uh, practice. As you can see, the, there is a little of a drop in the uh, average score there. The extra activity, so remember that the uh, program provides for six credits to be gained uh, through some extra activities. So what are they? That can be an internship, so students may choose to complete a three to six month internship. It must be pre-approved and be coherent with the studies. We, we, this is just to say that uh, um, we, we, we would like students uh, to do something that we think is uh, helping them, is training them. Uh, but we have our own internships and we regularly um, select students uh, um, to send to organizations and companies who have contacted us asking to circulate their call and to do some kind of pre-selection. So on top of the university desk in Presa, we have our own network and clearly the two collaborate. Then we have uh, as an alternative for students who did not find a suitable internship or wanted, uh, maybe they had done it one already, wanted to do something else. We have a soft skills seminar. So soft skills, as you know, are very important, especially for uh, for your interview. Uh, so we have uh, 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 people from typically outside the Tor Vegata who uh, deliver courses on soft skills that come and, uh, and organize uh, um, a number of seminars for students to, to help students develop these soft skills. And finally, we have uh, uh, ICT seminars, so Excel courses. So we realize that many students graduate without knowing how to use Excel for presentation. So we have courses uh, now on this that provide the six credits and we focus these courses on building pivot tables, visual basic program and solver. So using uh, Excel a little bit uh, further compared to what I think you can all, everybody can do in uh, their daily life. So as I said, an internship uh, um, program is run both at university level, uh, faculty level and our own level. Here we have our fantastic administrative team, Jenny on the left, Federica in the center and Susie. And uh, in particular on the internship, Jennifer helps the students a lot uh, in, uh, in uh, trying to find the uh, internship. And whenever we have a student who manages to find an internship on their own, then we make sure that we can get in contact with the, the company or the institution so that if they need other people in the future, they will let us know. This is a list of internship opportunities, for example, that uh, we have uh, uh, head, uh, so Agency for Digital Italy Embassy, the American Embassy in Rome, the Assembly of European Regions, the British Embassy, Bulgarian Embassy. Then we have going further down, CONCEP is the Procurement Authority in Italy, European Investment Bank, Italian Chamber of Commerce, Fire Department, Italian Ministry of Foreign Affairs, Internal Affairs, President of the Council of Ministers, 
and a number of uh, other ones, including the Italian Diplomatic uh, Authority of the United States in Geneva or uh, in, in Brussels, the Italian Embassy in Brussels. So the um, other, in, in particular, I want to focus on internship at international institutions because I know many of the students who join our program are interested in working in international institutions. So we had the, the one listed in the slides, European Agency for Railways, Invest, European Investment Bank, European Olympic Committee, Food and Agriculture Organization of the United Nations, uh, International Fund for Agriculture Development, the World Food Program. And these here are a list of uh, internship at private companies uh, that uh, we have, uh, that our students have managed to secure or we have helped them uh, to secure. Additional services. So over the years, uh, we have tried to fill gaps, not to in having a really closer relationship with each of our students. We have uh, seen that sometimes the devil is in the detail, in the sense that uh, we could have uh, students with very good transcripts, uh, exam marks, and uh, an excellent career. But when they were applying for uh, internship, they were turned down. And uh, and we we wonder why that was the case. And one of the things we discovered, on top of the soft skills, uh, which is an issue, as I said, we have already tried to address through the soft skills seminar. We noticed that students um, uh, did not really know how to apply. They could not write a, a CV uh, in a professional manner. And especially they did not know the importance of writing a motivation or an application letter uh, structured in an appropriate way uh, to support their application. So we have now uh, Jennifer and Susie run a number of seminars uh, that helps students uh, with their uh, motivation letter writing and their CV writing. Being native English speakers, they also help a lot with clearly all these sort of um, international uh, internship applications. As I said, we have a dual degree with the University of SOAS, uh, the School of Oriental and Africa Studies at University of London, so which gives students the opportunity to spend the second year of the Master of Science in European Economy and Business Law in London, taking at the same time also um, a Master of uh, in, uh, in SOA. So they end up by spending one year in London with two different degrees. Uh, the uh, the SOAS degree program is something you can check online, but it has uh, this one year at, in London would uh, could be um, spent by attending uh, courses uh, uh, in the Master of Science in Development Economics, in Economics, in Global Economic Governance and Policy, in International Finance and Development, in Political Economy of Development, in Economics with reference to Environment and Development. Not all students are allowed to go. There is again a selection uh, to, 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 to a couple of students a year. Live at Brunel here, we have some pictures of our students. It's a very nice uh, class. So we have typically had quite nice classes, thanks also to their, uh, to the fact that many students come from other countries or other regions, and therefore they may be more open to sort of socializing and interacting among each other. The student profile is, uh, is you know, a highly motivated uh, candidate uh, uh, with excellent knowledge of English. This is important because this is a program that is taught entirely in English. Um, and with a background, as I said, uh, it can be in economics, but we also consider application of students graduated in law, political science or engineering, mathematics, physics uh, or equivalent foreign degree. Uh, the EBL admission program process uh, is uh, uh, dealt by from a, um, by Federica uh, who, uh, Corrente, who is uh, was the first lady on the left in the picture I showed you. Um, uh, it's a very simple program. Uh, here are the requirements. Uh, every, uh, all the information here is also reported in uh, in uh, online. Uh, be aware that uh, the the some of the um, uh, entry fee has changed. Um, and uh, so we have an application fee 
and then uh, uh, there are the condition, the sort of uh, the fee that apply. There is a simulator online change depending on uh, income and uh, country of uh, um, application. So for the 2020-21, uh, uh, there is a, um, a taxation tuition, tu uh, tuition fee for the first non-EU uh, students is 2,656. For first year EU students is calculated according to the family income. So let me go through the um, uh, application. So in the last year, we received uh, about 138 uh, applicants of uh, which 27 um, were um, uh, admitted um, and uh, 111 rejected. Um, I think Federica, check me if I'm wrong, 27 is the students who are actually uh, in the class. These are the students who were admitted and they are in class. Uh, okay. OK, so these are the data about the applicants, not the final enroll. So what are uh, uh, the nationalities are very diverse. Uh, uh, as you can see, we have people from Europe, Africa, Asia and Middle East um, in terms of applications. Uh, we also have students with uh, a different um, bachelor background. So what we did was to uh, uh, do some kind, some little, uh, some analysis of how these students with different background were doing. So here you have data uh, comparing students who are coming from uh, business administration degree with students coming from uh, a humanities background with a humanities background or law, political science, economics, finance, engineering, and other. As you can see, you can't. Uh, um, um, find massive differences across this different background, which is a good sign that means that once the students have gone through this tough admission process, then it has to be the case that we think that they can really manage to get through to the end. And, uh, and uh, in fact, in terms of uh, average CFO and GPA, uh, the um, the background does not uh, um, explain um, differences to a large extent. Um, in terms of placement, TBL graduates uh, increasingly find placement at uh, national and international organizations, companies and businesses, government and non-governmental institutions, university and research institutes, and a few of our students have also decided to do a PhD um, in economics. So, or other disciplines. These are the companies and institutions uh, where uh, some of our students have found placement. And uh, let me spend a few more words about initiatives that we have. These are uh, things that we are very proud of because uh, we're really trying to motivate students uh, uh, in all possible uh, ways uh, and to reward uh, the, 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 the best students. So we have uh, performance prizes that are given to best uh, first year and second year students. So these are students who earn at least 60 credits uh, during their first year. And then we, we give uh, uh, some prizes to them, which has been, uh, uh, it ranges between uh, 1,000 euros or 500 euros. Uh, when we have uh, a rich year, we can raise it uh, even a little bit uh, further. Uh, so it gives um, this prize, to students, it's cash regardless of their income, just based on merit. Uh, we also have uh, uh, prizes for students who are interested in doing something else in the summer. Instead of going to the beach, maybe they really want to invest further in uh, their education. For example, they go to the sum to summer schools or uh, other type of summer programs. And we give a, a little contribution to them, uh, typically in the, uh, around the 500 euros to, to really go and attend these courses or uh, 
uh, other uh, training programs. And we've had uh, some very interesting uh, proposals have been admitted and uh, received the, the prize. And these are prizes that are given really based on the proposals, whether the students already been admitted, and of course, again, based also on average performance. There is a LinkedIn group uh, Federica keeps alive and it's very important uh, to join us uh, because we, we mm, advertise opportunities uh, through a number of links and one is there. Every year we have also an alumni event. The next one is scheduled for 18 of May where we get students from past year who have found an interesting placement to come back to us in order to inform students as to you know what was their experience how they managed to succeed what kind of advice they can give to students who are uh, not uh, graduated um, the purpose of this following the best american tradition is really just to create a network and facilitate the spread uh, the communication spread of information across our network we have organized also a number of other activities like Meet the Professionals. This has been the first year we've done it, but it's been particularly pleasant because we had two of our former students, um, Eleonora Corbo and Sara Del Vecchio. Uh, one is a student of EBL and the other of the Master of Science in Economics who have been, um, I would say, extremely successful in their career because they now work as some of the top consultancy firms in Europe, one in London and one in Brussels, and they came back to give a presentation about what they do in the consultancy firm. In particular, one was about uh, mergers and the other one about cartels. The light, we also run on top of the soft skills seminar, so that is worth six credits. We also run a seminar that is not uh, um, part of the official program, but it's still uh, is one of those activities that we run to try to help students. So we had um, a professional coming to uh, for a few hours uh, to sort of uh, uh, help students de develop uh, their life skills. Uh, we also have, this is me, um, dressed up a little bit because we're all at home at the moment, so clearly I'm just uh, with uh, with um, some gymnastic please. But the, we also have regularly meetings with the coordinators, uh, who is me. Uh, so the purpose of this meeting is to really to talk informally with students and uh, learn about difficulties or, you know, about proposals and perception of the program. Uh, recently, and I would really like uh, Federica to please send the magazine to all the students uh, who are connected here. So we also printed and uh, created in PDF format. Federica will send you the magazine in PDF format, an online magazine, sorry, a magazine, a student magazine, the purpose of which is really to help students uh, talk about their experience, for example, in internship or in uh, a summer school that they've done uh, financed, partially financed by the EBL performance prizes and, and, uh, and, and students to learn about opportunities uh, that we're aware of. Uh, here are all the details about uh, where we are, our the websites and the email address. And I will conclude the, the presentation here. 